different colors. Maybe she's in Chattanooga. Maybe she's in New Orleans. I just love to hear what's stay. He doesn't care what people say. We were excited once again to drive to the mountains to camp during the fall season. Located on the northwestern tip of Georgia, just a few minutes drive from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Cloudland Canyon is one of the largest and most scenic parks in the state. Arriving at the park, we were delighted by the colors that greeted us. First order of business is to hike West Rim Loop Trail, a 4.8 mile hiking trail. From the parking lot, we will follow the rim of the canyon until we reach halfway into the hike. From there, the trail loops back until it hits the intersection and retraces back to the trailhead. We drove all the way to Mississippi from Florida to enjoy the Natchez Trace Scenic Parkway. But because it was still early in the fall season and couldn't find any colors, we skipped the rest of the route and drove to the mountains of Georgia instead to see the autumn leaves. We feasted our eyes on the vibrant colors of the tree canopies as we hiked underneath it. We are hiking West Rim Trail. It's a pretty short hike and it's pretty, very colorful. Fall colors, the fall colors. Except for the loud voices of some of the hikers. <laughs> it's near to the city and you just don't have any control of it. It's pretty though. We then reach an overlook opposite to where we started our hike and have this massive view of the canyon walls of what appears to be an artist's paradise. We sat around for a little while, taking in the scenery and staring at this enormous work of art as a cool breeze whispers gently, swaying the nearby branches and rustling the colorful leaves to our delight. It is mesmerizing the way the texture of the canyon walls blends into the foliage colors around it. Purely nature's masterpiece.
We hiked further along the canyon rim and just couldn't have enough of the colors around us. It felt like walking inside a painting. We eventually made it back to our campsite to stay for the night. We managed to book a site on such short notice among a busy campground filled with other campers and their huge rigs. We then enjoyed our coffee and meal, but as the sun conceals itself behind the trees, ready to call it a day, the activities across the campground wanes down as the sound of crickets took over on a more relaxing way. What better way to end a perfect day is to sit around a campfire to enjoy the comfort of its warmth while looking forward for the next beautiful day. We were awoken by rain earlier. It was a panic. We had to run and grab the rain fly <laughs> from the jeep. Some of our stuff are wet, but uh, we managed to dry the sleeping bag. But I have to change my clothing. My down jacket was wet, so we put it inside the jeep. I guess weather, you cannot trust the forecast from time to time. 
It's time to go back to sleep. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good night. We broke camp and sip our coffees early. We immediately head to the trail to see the waterfalls before the park opens to beat the crowd. From the looks of it, the rain last night not only saturated the park but made the autumn leaves more deeper in color. Take note of the background sound. It is actually not a bird, but a squirrel barking at us. The hike to the waterfalls is about 2 miles in and out and involve a lot of stairs, nothing we can't handle. As predicted, Cherokee Falls was trickling, far from the sound of roaring water during winter and spring season. Surrounded by stone walls, it makes it solitary and peaceful. We backtracked a short part of the trail and made our way down to the Hemlock Falls. And just like Cherokee Falls, it too is trickling, solitary and almost hidden. As we sat listening to the trickling water, we came to realize we got the spot for ourselves. It never fails to amaze me how soothing the sound of nature is. To two weary souls craving to find refuge in this little nook of the canyon. We eventually made it back to the top of the rim to find the answer of how the park got its name. Truly a canyon among the clouds. Clouds in time clears away, once again making visible the canyon walls. As the sun warms the landscape, the canyon once again comes alive, animating the soft rustling of red, orange, yellow leaves among the sleeping trees. Wildland Canyon State Park, very well recommended to see the fall colors. If you like this video, please check our other videos as well. Thank you guys for watching. We left the campground that morning as the park opens up for the day. Towing with us the memories of the colors that would soon fade away.
leaving behind a sketchy recollection of that cool autumn day.